As we continue in our Merit or Myth series, we would be remiss if we didn't speak about soil temperature. Here we discuss some data picked up from two fields down in Clay County in the 2016 growing season. I keep hearing all the time that soil temperature has a huge effect on plant growth. So, yeah. and how does residue affect that growth? Um, if you have a lot of residue covering the surface, how does that fluctuate? So we started out with a project. We bought a, a bunch of these soil um, temperature sensors and we basically were looking for a comparison, two fields, uh, different management and trying to compare how does residue affect soil temperature at the two inch depth um, and see how that affects crop growth. So we installed these in the field right at planting time, basically tried to disturb the soil as little as possible, put these uh, temperature probes in, set them back down. They, they're set to record once an hour, so we have quite a few data points um, throughout the whole growing season. Mm -hmm. So we, we collected data all through the year last year and right up to harvest, and it was pretty interesting, the results that we found. Okay. Right, and that's where you and I came in, Anthony. We got this overwhelming amount of data, <laughs> and you came up with an idea, so. Yeah, you know, we, we, um, we talked to growers about the differences in temperature between uh, management systems, and, and they, they notice those differences in the field by the differences in the plant growth they see. So you calculated those heat units, and I think it shows quite well that by the time uh, the end of the growing season comes around, we've accumulated a similar amount of, of heat in that soil, and, yeah. and, and that's where it comes out. Well, can you explain this part over here, Anthony, because uh, the blue line here is gonna be your no-till. So what is happening early in the season, and what's happening in the eye of the farmer? Well, we're, we're coming out of a season there just in May, you know, previous month, April, where soils are, uh, uh, thawing and 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 uh, warming up and and so we see that uh, those residue covered soils uh, the temperature rising a lot slower and so we see that uh, uh, depression in the no-till uh, there in the beginning of the season uh, where that bare soil is going to take more heat in that's that's just obvious that yeah. that's going to happen yeah and then somewhere around about the end of June, that kind of catches up, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where that temperature moderation is coming in with okay. the no-till and helping it to catch up. Got it. And an uh, old professor of mine, Dr. Tom, which you yep, interviewed, yep. he always uh, uh, mentioned that, that that no-till will catch up later in that yep. season, and it does happen. Well, this discussion reminds me a little bit of what Ralph Holtzworth said to us a while back. You remember that, Barrett? Yep. You don't harvest your corn in June. So what's next, Buzz? Well, you will remember that Anthony Bly mentioned temperature moderation in no-till soils. We're going to unpack that a little bit in the next video. So see you soon. Mm -hmm.